This is a katana, the icon of Japan, and how they were made was pretty interesting. You see, Japan didn't have any natural iron ore, so Japanese swordsmiths used iron sand melted in special clay furnaces with huge bellows. It took many people days of hard work to make this special kind of steel, Tama Hagane, and only one third was suitable for making katanas. Then came the folding dozens of times, hammering out each impurity. After the blade is created, the edge is coated in clay, a technique called Hama. The result wasn't just the cool pattern or the classic glint in the sun. It made the edge sharp while the spine flexible, perfect for slicing your foes. It wasn't just a bladesmith's though. Sheath, hilt, and handguard specialists were equally as important. The forging of katanas was a sacred art. The blade, a living spirit. Shinto rituals purified the blade. They weren't just weapons, but a symbol sacred to the people. The katana gets its legendary status for a reason. Crafted from ancient signs, sacred rituals, and deadly precision. Subscribe for more historical science.